Hey guys, today we're going to do a garden kids activity. Um, this activity I got from a Child's World curriculum by Leah McDermott. Um, this is the bugs. This is from the bugs theme. Um, I'll link to the curriculum below. We love this curric curriculum. We're using it for uh, my preschooler, but, but my babies like doing some of this stuff too. So this is a good range of activities. You get um, an overview, recommended books, sorry, I'll try not to, nature exploration, art activities, sensory, science, sorry, they're excited about this, <laughs> math, and then a um, recipe at the end. So we really, really love this curriculum and I highly recommend it. Um, so I'll link to that below. So this activity is from there. Uh, we start off by reading a book. So a couple of books that might go with this activity is, one is, this is about caterpillars. So one is uh, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Everybody knows that book. It's a very great book. Um, a little more informative book. These are our, the um, Let's Read and Find Out Science books. This is stage one. There's uh, various stages depending on how advanced. Uh, your child is. This is stage one, so it's from Caterpillar to Butterfly by Deborah Heiligman. Um, so it's very simple science. This is a classroom that watches a butterfly go from an egg to a caterpillar to a chrysalis to a butterfly. So another book is this Caterpillar to Butterfly book. It starts with this little felt caterpillar in the beginning and he goes through the different this is good for learning colors he goes through the different colors and then he goes into a travels through each of the pages and then finally he gets to they call it cocoon uh, butterfly is actually you can talk to talk about this with your kid but butterflies go into a chrysalis and moths go into cocoons so it's fine, just mention that to your kid, they'll understand. And then finally, he turns into a butterfly. We love this book. Um, and then the last book I recommend for caterpillars, or with this activity, is 10 Wiggly Wiggly Caterpillars. And this one goes really, really well because it's uh, a counting book. And the activity we're going to do talks about counting. So you go through all of the numbers with this one. And the kids, I like it because it's tactile. Uh, my son's a very tactile learner. So he can touch everything, all the caterpillars on each page. And that helps them uh, be able to count the numbers, the caterpillars, easier when they can touch it. Okay, so here's the activity. First I took some Mardi Gras beads and we cut them up into different lengths. So we have one through 10, one, two, etc. And those are our caterpillars, right? Yeah. And then we took beans and I numbered them one through 10. Well, we like these I just got at the dollar for. store too, along with well, these well, well, Mardi well, Gras beans. beans the beans are the, don't eat them, bud. Okay, now you have one less less egg. That was a caterpillar egg that you just ate. Oh, <laughs> These are supposed to be the caterpillar eggs, so they go from an egg to a caterpillar, and then the caterpillars need to eat leaves to turn into a butterfly. So I labeled the leaves 1 through 10, so they're going to put all of them together. So match the number 1, if we can find it, the number 1 with the leaf number 1, and the caterpillar number one. There we go. And they're gonna do that all number the way one. up to ten. Okay? Number five. Okay. Here's my caterpillar. Wait, how many are how many beads are on your caterpillar? You gotta match that to the correct egg. I have to make one, two, three, one. Oh, this is one, Uh oh no. <laughs> Let's try it Let me out. see. Yep, that's your number one. You will you will you Is it seven? So then find your bean that says seven and your leaf that says seven. 
That's a six. Good. Your beans are right in here, Betty. Those are your beans. Let me see. Remember, the seven looks like a one, but with a long line at the top. Oh, wait, there it is. There's your seven. Which number are you looking for, Betty? Number two. That's a number seven. You're right. I was looking for two. This is two. That's a number seven. That's a number two. Number two, like two. There, you found it. You found the leaf that says two? Good matching. Now you got to find your two caterpillar. You're supposed to be doing yours, Kennedy. Yours is right here. Oh. <laughs> Silly. No, it's Kennedy. Um, did it fall on the ground? I think yours fell on the ground, bud. I did. Oh, you found the two? Good. Yes, I found it. Good job. Did I forgot to wait there because I can't find it. Find it. You did a kind of thing. Do your best game ever. I can't find <laughs> it. What? It's the best game ever? Uh, I can't okay. Find it okay, well, we're going to play this game for a while. It's probably going to take a while. So say bye, guys. Bye. Is this a fun game? Uh -huh. Yeah.